hopefully. Alright, we're going to find two coterminal angles for each of these. So we'll do them color coded. So this 80 degrees. Remember, 90 degrees is right here. So that's 80 degrees. So to find a coterminal one, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go around and get back to the same thing. In other words, I'm adding 360 degrees to 80 degrees. See how I started here? That's 80 plus another 360, which is going to just give me 440. 440 degrees is the positive one. Now let's do the negative one. Again, if I, if now it's in the opposite direction. If this is 80 degrees, I'm going to have to go in the negative direction, back another 80, and then a, all the way around. So where am I? Actually, I'm sorry. I did that wrong. Let's ignore that. I'm going to start here. I'm going to start at the initial side, which is right here, and I'm going to go short of 360 back. So you could just subtract 80 from 360 and it'll get you that. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it because again look at what I'm doing. I'm going that's 360 but I didn't go that far. I went 360 minus 80. So that is 280? Mm -hmm. 280 degrees. Oops sorry. Negative 280 degrees because I'm going in the negative direction. So it's negative 280 degrees because they wanted one positive and one negative. All right, let's see how the radian one can be done. So 7 pi over 6. Remember, this is 1 pi right here. So 7 pi over 6 is going to be just a little bit, it's a little bit further. That's 7 pi over 6 right there. Because So this right here is 1 pi over 6, that angle right there, because this was 6 pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6 is just one more. To me, that's the easiest way to do it because now I can see, oh, that's easy. All I'm going to do is add, let's go 6 pi over 6. And if I went another, a full, let's, let's add another 6 pi, that's 12 pi over 6. Add another 6 pi, that's 18 pi over 6. And add one more pi over 6 to get back to this co-terminal, meaning ending at the same place. And that's going to be 19 pi over 6. I would literally just draw out the angle and do it that way. To me that's much easier than trying to think to yourself. The other way that people do it a lot of times is they add 7 pi over 6 and then they add another 2 pi to it. Well, which is fine. 2 pi is 12 pi over 6. And then just add them together and you get 19 pi over 6. If that makes more sense to you, fine. But I like to use the pictures, at least when I'm first starting to do this, so that I really understand what it is I'm doing. Now let's go in the negative direction. If I go this way, going full here would be a full six negative six pi over six, but I didn't make it that far. I only I made it one pi over six less, so I made it five pi negative five pi over six. Again, you could have also done seven pi over six minus twelve pi over six, which is like going a full revolution less and you're going to get the same thing, negative 5, 5, or 6. Whoops, over 6, not 2, over 6. All right, the last problem. All right, for this last problem, it's a negative 63. So remember, we're going in the negative direction, 63 degrees. So pictures are worth a 1,000 words, if you ask me. So if I want to, I want to find out what this angle is, the positive angle, I want to find out what that angle is right there. Well, that's just 360 minus 63, which is, what, 297? Mm -hmm. 297 degrees is the positive. Well, now the trick for this one, so that was easy. The positive one is 297 degrees. The trickier one is maybe going the negative one because what we're going to do is we're going to go the opposite direction, or we're going to keep going in the same direction negative. So we're going to actually be over 360. I don't know if that's much. That's super tricky, but that angle right there is 360 plus another 63. But that's in the negative direction. So it's negative 360 plus a negative 63, which is negative 423. And that's your answer.